Hello, this is Mark Hubs with Aris Gone Bullet Molds. If you subscribe to my channel or have seen some of my other videos, you know that my emphasis is normally, normally on reproducing original style paper cartridges. But in this case, we're going to talk about how to make quick loads for your cap and ball revolver. Something that anybody can make if you're not concerned about shooting an authentic uh, cartridge. And these are especially important if you're shooting some type of competition that doesn't allow paper in the cartridge such as NSSA and you want a pre-measured cartridge ready to pour into the revolver and start shooting. And what I use is this clear vinyl tubing uh, to make my quick loaders. And uh, this particular size, it's the inside diameter is 3 8 and it works perfectly for 44. And it sounds like it should be too small but it's flexible and it will you can squeeze the bullet in there and it will seal very nicely so we're going to go through and I'll show you how I put these together this can be bought at any hardware store and if you're lucky they'll still have it on a large roll so you can just buy it by the foot if not you can buy these 10 foot rolls uh, for about oh five six dollars uh, unfortunately there's not a size that works for 36 caliber uh, only for 44 caliber with a 3 inch, a 3 8 inch uh, diameter inside. And uh, you'll also need uh, a 3 8 inch dowel rod. And uh, you'll need to cut that into little segments, approximately a centimeter long, a little less than half an inch. It's not doesn't have to be precise, but you'll end up with uh, basically little plugs that look like that. And that's what will seal one end of the quick loaders with. And you'll see this inset here of uh, me on my bandsaw cutting some out. And as I said, it's not, it doesn't have to be precise. So don't spend too much time trying to measure out little pieces. So let's, uh, let's cut one now for a standard uh, 20 to 25 grain charge for either a round bar or conical. And you'll need about uh, roughly two inches for 20 to 25 grains uh, and you, you can experiment with this you can get the size you need by after you cut a couple so that's two inches right there there's the piece we need and we'll find us a plug in here and the plug should fit snugly right into the end of the tubing now if you're concerned about it coming out or if you want to be especially sure that it seals, then you can put a little bead of uh, super glue around it, and I guarantee you it won't come out, and it'll probably be fairly airtight too. Now with that, we can take a flask, and this is a 25 grain charger on this flask. Uh, when I shoot competition with NSSA I weigh the charges but if you're just doing range work you can use a, a measure of any kind and that's 25 grains and then you can take the bullet of your choice in this case uh, it will be a if I can find one in here a Johnston and Dow Civil War style conical and you just work it into the end of that vinyl tube. Twist it and work it. Push the heel in and you'll have a very nicely sealed cartridge and all you have to do is pull the bullet out and pour the powder and then of course put the bullet into the chamber and ram it home. And you can uh, adjust these to the length you need. You can see there's a lot of space left in that. You could probably get 40 grains in there if you chose to. And there's another thing you can do. Oh, and then here's, here's a round ball version. And uh, here is 40 grains behind a Colt Dragoon bullet. And these I would make up for use in my uh, Colt Walker. Now if you'd like to make a duplex charge, and that's one that will hold both powder and filler, take your length of tubing and press one of the 
piece of the dowel rod all the way up to the center. And it's not hard to do. In fact, we'll start fresh here. We'll cut another one. That's about two and a half inches. And then we'll take our piece of dowel rod, get it started, and I will push that up to the center of the tube. And it'll be sort of tight. And then, okay, let me get all my pieces assembled here. I have a round ball, and I need a longer plug for the other end, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. So here's our 25 grains of powder. And we'll pour that into one end, just barely fits. Press the ball in. So it's uh, just past the middle. Yeah, I may have too much powder in here. Okay, and then on the other end, I'll put 10 grains by volume of filler. In this case, it's grits. You see it in there. Then I'll take a one inch long piece of dowel rod and insert it in the other end and that'll be my plug which I can remove. And now I have a duplex load ready, ready to go into the revolver. And as some of you know, uh, a lot of competition shooters like to use a uh, mixed load like this. They'll put the powder in first and then the filler and the ideal there is to make the ball sit as close to the mouth of the chamber as possible by use of that filler on top of the target load. That way the bullet does not jump as far uh, when it engages the rifling and that consistency helps to improve accuracy. So again, there's our duplex load. Here's another example. And a uh, conical bullet and a round ball. And here's some I can show you for comparison that I've had loaded for oh, at least two years. And uh, I loaded these originally with round ball uh, for NSSA, actually quite a while ago. And they were left over. And uh, some I replaced with the Johnson & Dow bullet. But that's, uh, that's 21 grains of black powder inside there. And still, still loose, ready to pour. Uh, these have been in a hot, humid uh, storage uh, uh, cabinet essentially in my garage uh, for over two years and you see the bullet will still pop out just fine I can pour the powder and if I decide not to use it I can put the bullet back in and it'll still seal and uh, should be able to use these things over and over again you know, I, I haven't had any split or dry to the point where they don't hold the bullet any longer I know they have to have a uh, a life of, of some length, but I just don't, I haven't reached that yet. So anyway, that's what I do for a modern uh, quick load. And hopefully this will help you in uh, uh, deciding how to carry your ammunition to the range if you need a preloaded charge. Well, that's my solution to having a prepared, precision, pre-made cartridge to take to the range, and I'm not worried about historical accuracy. If this was helpful, uh, please give me a like, uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, and please visit our website, and you can see all the different bullet modes that we have to offer. Thanks for watching.